Let's talk more about our main story. The broadcaster ITV saying that now is the right time for the Jeremy Kyle show to end. The talk show, which has run for 14 years, was permanently cancelled earlier today following the death of a participant. MPs on the Commons Media and Culture Committee have announced an inquiry into reality television as a result. The comedian and broadcaster Terry Christian joins us now from Manchester. Terry, thanks very much for taking the time to speak to us this evening. You've you made your feelings clear on, on the programme uh, on your social media channels. What was it about the show that you disliked so thoroughly? Well, I mean, I come from a strongly working class background, you know, I grew up on benefits. I actually worked with Jeremy, you know, for, for two years, you know, on radio, so he's a crossover. And I, I got on well, well with him, except for on the score of politics. And the reality is, you know, 14 years, they should have taken that show off 14 years ago. It's disgraceful, it's bear baiting, that's all it's ever been, it's, an att it's attacking poor people. I mean, what I said on social media was basically, would they employ me to get Boris Johnson on and shout at him and say, what about your mistresses? Who paid for them? What about you being sacked for, for lying twice? No, but when it comes to poor people with problems, it's almost like you are the authors of your own misfortune, so I'm allowed to speak to you any way that I like. And it, and it didn't help the fact that Jeremy is a public schoolboy. So he's shouting at people whose lives he's got no interest, no kind of, if you like, uh, experience of. There's nothing visceral to him about it. And, and so the whole portrayal of it was bear bait, and it was, it was ugly. I mean, I did watch a few of them, you know, because I, I could understand why it was popular, but I felt like I needed to take a shower. Now, that isn't Jeremy Kyle's fault. That's ITV's fault. You've got to look at who runs the media and allows these shows, because all they're going to do with this, they love baiting poor people, Benefit Street, the bailiffs are coming, all those kind of shows. It's all about demonising poor people, demonising people who grew up on council estates. You know, I'm no bleeding heart liberal, but you don't have to be intelligent to see it. You know, what, what about, why don't we do tax dodger towers? You know, and find out and say, we could have bought three hospitals with the money you didn't pay in taxes last year. You know, there's plenty of dysfunctional rich people in this country. In fact, all our problems are caused by them, i.e. Brexit, the tax dodgers charter. So, so, so this for you, you know, ter this be, for you Terry, boils down to... Do to this. A, this, this ball for you, Terry, is, is a class issue at its root. Absolutely. Well, what do you mean? It, but, as if I'm the only one who sees it. Of course, it's a class issue. In the 2010 Equalities Act, they should have made socio-economic class one, one of the things in it. Because that is the one, that is the major one. Not race, because if, whatever race you are, you've got a socio-economic class. And most black people and uh, people from ethnic minorities in this country are working class, so they get it double-dipped. But the big one is socio-economic class. We live in a feudal system. We've got the biggest divide of, of rich and poor in the EU. You know, these are all our problems, not the EU's problems, and they're not Jeremy Kyle's problems. But you've got to ask, why is a national broadcaster putting programmes like this out? I mean, never mind that somebody had to kill themselves before they go, oh, well, maybe that's wrong. To have people there who are obviously, obviously poor through no fault of their own because either they're not very bright or they've got men men mental illness or they haven't got work and go, why haven't you got a job? Could, would I be allowed to sit on a step with Prince Andrew and say, why aren't you working? OK, you know, it's a, who's paid for just, your house? Just important to mention that it's uh, reportedly uh, this man took his own life. We're just waiting, uh, of course, for, for confirmation on the details on that. It's important for us to say that um, as a broadcaster. Okay, well, when you, but when you talk about people watching it, Terry, a hundred, sorry, not a hundred, a million people, I think, roughly a day watch this. What does it tell us about yeah. us as viewers? Well, it's, it's the same in the old days. You used to like to pay to go around Bedlam and look at the mad people, didn't they? You know, people used to love a public hanging. So should we cater for that? Is that what our society is about? And what's worse is it then demonises the poor. So it allows the government to sanction people, the DWP to persecute people for being poor, to make it be their fault. And that's what it's all about. When you watch the Jeremy Kyle show, that's what it was all about. He was attacking people for being poor or for not being able to work or for being drug addicts. Come on. You know, uh, it's not their fault. So in some cases it might be, but that isn't the job of a broadcaster. Report the news. Talk to those people about their lives. Don't berate them for being poor. Why don't you put something on the end of it, mate? You know, I have a chin dip. Yeah. 
that was that, and that, that indeed was something that was said during a program. I was looking at it earlier. Terry, I was look, reading an interview with you from a couple of years back in the New Statesman, uh, and your program that you presented, The Word. And it's important to point out that you said that you thought this was exploitation yeah. at the time. The hopeful segment on that program, people, members of the general yeah. public, put it, put it, put it, French, put... kiss, French kissing pensioners. Drinking yeah. their own vomit, things like that. Do, I know, you, and it's important to say that you, in that we interview, never, uh, say. Hang on, wait, 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 Tom, 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 Tom. We never had any pensioners drinking their own vomit. No, no, no. I, I've said people we had a kissing, student, people yeah, kissing we had a pensioners student and then drinking drink. drink. this, art, this, art, this article hey, says people no. kissing pensioners and then hang drinking on, wait, their own wait. vomit. But, but, hold on, hold on. Student pranks, and I hated that strand anyway. I know, I and, and I, I said, I've said that a couple of times. I said, I said that in an interview, interview. You, you thought that was exploitation, you didn't, and you didn't like it. I said that. that. I'm just wondering. That, I'm just wondering. But, you, yeah. th when that happened, that was their choice. Do you, do you think, looking back at the '90s, that 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 was the start of this kind of this kind of programming at all? Um, I, I think back on our show, what I didn't like about that at the time was I thought it was a gimmick, it was a contrivance, but it was student pranks. It was their choice. They knew what they were doing. They weren't ridiculed for it. People were laughing with them, not at them. But what I hated about the sneeriness of it was 99% of the people who made the word were ex-public school. Let's laugh at the peasants. It's that kind of thing. They don't say it all publicly. They say it privately. I've been in, I, I was in the meetings. You know, but, you know, some, some medical student doing something horrendous, like drinking a pint of his own vomit, or somebody else, you know, eating a worm sandwich, that's up to them. To me, it wasn't entertainment. We never needed it. And, in fact, that's what got us taken off the air. And maybe you'd say rightly so. But, but what it is, is as TV has dumbed down, as it's cheapened, we've got more and more of this. And if you take, you know, Jeremy's show, for instance, you know, Jeremy's... All, it's almost like one slogan after another. It's like, like our politics, isn't it? He has his certain and catchphrases, every now and then he'll let one go, he'll say, mate, we're here to help you, and turn the fake concern dial up to 11. Now, these programmes will continue on TV, they'll carry on making them, but what they'll do is they'll probably stick some nice psychologist in next to them, you know, to turn the fake dial up to 11 and make out the caring, when really all they're after is exploiting people's and on pain, that, uh, misery and suffering. And on that note, do you, do you think, I mean, you say they'll, they'll continue... Uh, do you think there is a place for them at all with regards to this inquiry that's going to go on? Is no. there a future or is this a, is this a turning point in this particular type of programme? Well, I, I hope it's a turning point. And the problem is, let's forget about what's happened with Jeremy Kyle at the moment. Why have ITV been showing this for 14 years? They used to make things like World in Action. They used to make things worth watching. Let's have a look at the socio-economic background of the people making these shows. An important show to me. Never mind Benefit Street. Turn that camera 180 degrees around and make a documentary about the people who make those shows. Then you'll find something socially very interesting. Terry, listen, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. Appreciate it this evening. <laughs> right, brilliant.